It's crucial to create a consistent flow of passive income if you want to retire early and live comfortably. A pension plan is advantageous, but it could not give you the financial independence you need for a comfortable retirement. Dividend investing, which allows people to purchase shares of corporations and regularly get cash rewards in the form of dividends sent directly into their accounts, is one approach to accomplish this goal. Consider the well-known corporation Johnson's Johnson, JNG, which has a dividend yield of 2.98% and pays an annual dividend of $4.52 per share. It would take 6,637 shares, or a $1,570,572 initial investment in order to earn $2,500 a month in passive income from J&J dividends. Despite the fact that this sum may appear large, dividend investing is a long-term strategy. So investors can begin with lower sums and watch their investment grow over time. To build up enough shares to rely only on dividends, however, may take some time due to the gradual nature of dividend investing. Consider real estate investment trusts, REITs, such as Realty Income Core, if you're seeking for assets with greater yields. Realty Income has a track record of steadily increasing its dividend and currently yields 4.79%. For instance, purchasing 822.4 shares of Realty Income Core would require a $52,803 initial investment in order to generate a passive income of $2,500 a month. Investors can start with tiny monthly deposits and expand their portfolio over time, much like dividend investing in individual equities. Although REITs and dividend investing can be dependable sources of passive income, it's crucial to keep in mind that these are long-term approaches. It could take some time, persistence, and consistent donations to develop a sizable income stream. Even so, it can be rewarding to find a reliable source of income in retirement. An American corporation called Altria Group Incorporated, MO, is well known for producing and marketing cigarettes, tobacco, vaping supplies, and alcohol. Altria paid $3.76 in annual dividends per share at the time of the video, providing a respectable dividend yield of 8.12%. An investor would need to own roughly 7,978.7 shares of Altria, necessitating an initial investment of nearly $369,573.60 annually in order to receive $2,500 per month in passive income from Altria dividend. Investing in covered call ETFs is an alternate strategy for individuals looking for better dividends with lower risk. In order to create additional revenue, covered call ETFs employ a technique in which they purchase a portfolio of equities and then sell call options on those stocks. This tactic helps insulate against market volatility while limiting possible rewards in the event that the equities increase dramatically. The Global XNA SDAQ100 Covered Call ETF QYLD, which boasts a yield of 12.72%, is a well-liked covered call ETF to take into account. An investor would need to purchase around 14,160 one shares of this ETF, which would require an initial commitment of nearly $235,212 annually in order to generate $2,500 per month in passive income. The Global XFV 500 Covered Call ETF XYLD, which at the time was yielding 13.48%, is another choice. The amount of shares needed to generate $2,500 per month in passive income from XILD would depend on both the share price at the time and the annual dividend per share. Covered call ETFs can be a useful tool for increasing earnings while reducing risk. Before making any investment selections, it is crucial to undertake in-depth research, take into account a person's financial objectives, and assess their risk tolerance. We use the current share price and the annual dividend yield to get the number of shares needed to earn $2,500 each month from Global XR 500 Covered Call ETF XYILD. The yearly dividend per share was $5.45 at the time since the ETF had a yield of 13.48%. Using the formula, monthly dividend income 12 EE annual dividend per share number of shares owned, by substituting the figures, we find that in order for a shareholder to receive the dividend yield of $2,500 each month, they would need to acquire about 5,495 shares of Global Excess of Global Excess 500 Covered Call ETF. If the current share price is $40.42, this would require an initial investment of around $222,106.80 per year. 
Both the Global XNA SDAQ100 EATF and the Global XF500 Covered Call ATF give investors exposure to the American stock market, but their different investment approaches make them stand out as interesting alternatives. The Global XNA SDAQ100 EATF offers investors the ability to invest in the firms fueling its growth by concentrating on large non-financial corporations, mostly in the technology sector. The Global XEAB Up 500 Covered Call ETF, on the other hand, uses an option strategy to increase the income from its assets. This tactic can lessen volatility and offer a consistent income stream, but it might also restrict upside potential during prolonged bull market. Investors need to be aware of the limits of covered call strategies since they may underperform in strong bull markets because they typically work best in sideways markets. The choice to employ such a tactic necessitates a careful balancing of risk and reward, taking into account the objective of achieving future financial independence through dividend investment.